Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome. My name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you're here. It is Saturday. The Sephora sale has been going on for just over a week. It goes on for two more days, I think. Anyway, I wanted to show you my haul. I just picked up my last part of my order. I decided to add a couple things in um, when I went in store to smell some perfumes. Before I get into this, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you picked up during the sale, what you think of what I picked up. Yeah, so I started out really well. I had my cart perfectly curated. I had like my budget all done and I put in my cart and I figured everything out. Then a few things happened. One, I looked on the Kohl's website to see what they had at Sephora, if any of the things I had, I could put on my Kohl's card so I didn't have to pay for them right away. Um, and then also, uh, just to see if there's anything different. So there was, my cart changed a little bit. I added something that I wasn't originally planning on a couple things. Then, um, I had an issue with one of my items. I went on and was chatting and then I noticed that something that I had been wanting had finally come out on the Sephora website. So I put in a separate, separate order and I saw that there's a couple of new Sephora favorite sets. So I added those, which was not good. I finally got in to a Sephora to smell some things on Friday, yesterday. When I was in store, I was kind of thinking about a couple things and then I eventually ended up doing a buy online pickup and store order, which I just picked up. There, there's a couple things that I'm regretting not getting, but we're good for right now. And yeah, so let me know what you picked up because I'm really interested. This is mostly perfume. I started out, it was just going to be perfume and then things evolved a little bit from there. We're going to start with what I picked up on the Kohl's website. And first thing I picked up is from Sol de Janeiro. This is the Rio Radiant Solar Tuberose and Late de Coco. I'm not sure what I think about this one. This kind of reminds me of Beach Walk a little bit. It, or uh, Coco Paradise, I feel like it's in that same type of realm, but maybe with a little bit more, I'm going to just spray it in the cap a little bit more uh, florals. It is very tropical, very sunny. It's not my favorite. I don't hate it. I don't love it though. So not, not a great start. I guess I should also say I'm Rouge. So I had 20% off of all of these things and um, I'm well on my way to being Rouge again this year. We'll see. I'll probably hit it before the November sale at this rate. I, I don't know though. I'm trying to be good. I just failed miserably. Then I picked up this. I was so excited that they had this. This is Marc Jacobs Daisy Oh So Fresh uh, Paradise. This was the last one that I needed in the yearly flankers. It's been the hardest to find. I was very surprised that they had it on the Kohl's website because they don't have it on the Sephora site. They don't have it at Macy's. They didn't have it at Dillard's. So I was like, oh no, they don't have it at Ulta either. I have it on like every wish list everywhere, or I should say I did because now I have it and I don't need to worry about it anyway. This one was the one I was like least likely to like because it does have lavender and lavender can give me a headache. Usually when I smell lavender, like I get this intense pain right here. So I, I don't like scents with lavender 99% of the time. And once in a while they don't bother me too much, but they're, they're never my favorite. This smells so familiar. I don't know if it's, if it's reminding me of the original Oh So Fresh, but I definitely have another Marc Jacobs that has very similar uh, scent to this. Yeah, it's, it's nice. I don't think it's anything special. And I will eventually get a video up on the entire line and comparing it to, I'll figure out what they are, but that will be probably in June because life and where all of my perfumes are. So I was very excited to get this though very, very excited to finish this year's collection because I have all of them and I didn't want to be missing just this one. Let's talk the first uh, order that I put in. I decided to pick up a backup of, not a backup, but a second one of this. This is the Polish Choice Exfoliate, Exfoliate 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. I have a bottle of this that's almost gone. I might finish it in April. If not, it's going to be very early May when I finish it. And I'm not, wasn't necessarily trying to panic because I really like this. And I find that when I have breakouts, this really does help things. I don't use it 
I've been using it a little bit more frequently, but Sephora accidentally sent me this a year and a half ago or so. And I was, I contacted them and they said, oh, you can just keep it. Uh, you don't need to return it or anything because they had thrown it in by mistake. And I really like it. So it worked out for them because I ended up buying a second bottle. I think this one's like $30. The, I don't know the, all of the prices. I don't have my receipts right in front of me. So I will tell you what prices that I can remember. Then I picked up a sample set. This is the Maison Louis Marie. And this is a set of five fragrances. This might be a little easier to see. So we have uh, number two, number four, number nine, number 12, and then an Antidris Cassis. Um, I probably mispronounced that, but I'm excited to try these. I will do a video on them. This isn't my favorite line because they're all usually pretty woody, uh, more unisex. That's not really my vibe. I really like the fruity, sweet type of scents, which you're going to see in just a second. But for $15, I was like, I need to try this one because that's a great deal, especially with 20% off of that too. Not too bad, $3 uh, regular price for this instead of 25, big discount. Speaking of fruity scents, I picked up a couple from Bon Parfumer. I just did, not I just did, I did a first impressions of their discovery set not too long ago. I'll have it linked up above. And this is one that I really love. This is two or three, this is, I have to look on the back. So this says it is a fruity intense and it is raspberry, vanilla, and blackberry. The packaging is very simple. It just has the little uh, slip over it. That tells you what fragrance notes are in it. And then all of the packages look exactly the same. So you can see the little bottle behind and it opens out and then you just push that little out. And there you go. I just picked up the one ounces. These were 53 originally. Because I thought about getting the full sizes. I know that Fragrance Net has some of them, but I decided I didn't really need giant bottles of all of these. And I just, I kind of wanted little ones. If I go through these, I can buy another one. You know, that's if I ever go through them. So I did get two or three. I have worn this at least once. I guess I just wore it once. I was really just craving it and middle of the day sprayed it all over me because it was in my office. I picked up a second one as well. This is 501. And it's in a plastic baggie because of how it came. So let me let me show you. I could see they were wrapped in like cellophane and I could see before I even opened it that uh, the packaging was really stained. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can see that it's, well now my camera's trying to adjust. Don't do that. I, I've i never figured out how to turn that off. Um, and to make it still look fun, fine because when I do it, it looks funky still. So um, yes, leaked out. Everything is covered in, oh, 501 is praline, or praline, licorice, and patchouli. It's a gourmand intense. And they have another one that's supposed to be on the way, but they have not shipped it as of filming. <sighs> but yeah, you can see inside, there's pink staining on that side. Let's see if I can get it out. The box is just all trashed. I don't know if I should try to use what's left in there because that's how much is left. Uh, the label is all bad and then there's all that uh, corrosion, I guess, is the best way to put it. I don't think it's mold. Um, at least I'm really hoping it's not mold. It doesn't look like mold, if that makes sense. Like it's white, but it doesn't look fuzzy like white mold usually looks. But uh, it looks okay under here. So I was thinking about cleaning it up and just using what's left in there. Let me know what you would do with that. Um, and I'm very excited to get another bottle. And this was definitely, this had been shipped this way. It had already leaked out much earlier than when they shipped it. If it was laying on its back, or if it's one of those weird ones that for some reason that sucks up the perfume, that has happened to me with a Bath & Body Works perfume that it just like leaked out everywhere, ruined some wood finish. Still need to fix that, but yeah. I'm a little disappointed that it came that way, but really excited to get the full bottle of this when it arrives. Final item from that first order. This was one that was on my wish list or my loves list. I had smelled it earlier this year, back in January when they were doing, they had the 20% off of, a fra of fragrances and I thought about getting it then, but I wasn't, I just, I couldn't justify the price. And then I've been thinking about it and I thought about getting just the travel size, but this particular brand, their travel sizes are rollerballs. I'm not a rollerball fan and um, the rollerballs I have from this company, I just never use them. 
I need to, but I just haven't. But this is Skylar's Peach Fields. This is White Peach Osmathus and Sandalwood. This is a very sweet, very peachy type scent. So that's what it looks like. I have been debating getting the, the boardwalk one that they have that has like cotton candy in it. I have not because you have to order it from them. And um, I spent more than enough during all of this. So there's that. Mm. Yeah, if you like peaches, I think you will like this. It is similar to Shea and Blue's White Peaches, but this is a very different type scent. I feel like that one is sweeter. This one's a little bit more grounded. I don't know how long this one will last. They, they don't always have the best lasting power. It does have peaches on the back too. Um, I don't know. I don't really love the sticker on the back, but that's, that's just me. I'm very happy to have this one though, because this is going to be a great spring and summer type of fragrance. I also, they just got Lime Fields and one of my stores had it, but not the store that had everything else that I wanted to get. So I decided not, I don't want to go. It's the one in the mall and it's a more of a pain to get in and out of instead of the outdoor one. So I didn't order it, but I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'll get it this summer. Who knows? Now on to my second order. I'm going to show you the Sephora favorites that I picked at first. So first up, I got the Sephora favorites perfume sampler. This is, I thought this was like the summer one or something like that. So there are six in here. You have uh, on a date, which I do have a one ounce of thanks to Savannah. And then I have, and then it's Nest New York Balinese Coconut, which is what I'm planning to redeem for because this was 28, that one's 35 normally. Prada Paradox, I already have a full size of that. Then we have Skylar Peach Fills, which obviously I just got. You would only, it's only a dollar more than this kit is, so it's not the best value to redeem for. Valentino Donna Born in Roma Coral Fantasy, which I already own. And then Victor and Ralph Good Fortune, which I also already own. So, I got this just for that Balinese coconut because I own all of the other ones, but $28, not too bad of a deal. These are final sale, which I uh, should point out, and you're supposed to be able to redeem these online. I have been slowly redeeming some of mine because I had several of them that I just had never gotten around to redeeming, and I want to make sure that I get them before like certain things are disappearing on the website and seem to be on clearance. Like Melt. Anybody know what's going on with Melt? I feel like they're getting rid of Melt because everything is on sale. Next up, I got this set. I did break into it last night. I wanted to look. It is supposed to be a compostable bag too. It says to take off the sticker. It was $35. This one came with a big hole in it, which I was like, oh, okay. Surely the zipper isn't compostable too. That just seems weird. Anyway, the first up, we have a Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. I want to smell this. I've heard good things about this. It is a clear gloss. Oh, it smells fruity. That smells very nice. I will probably try that today. I don't need another lip gloss out. Then the next thing in here is from Necessaire. This is the body lotion. It's a sample size. Once again, this is a full ounce. Then we have uh, from Floor. I was really excited about this. This is Missing Person. This is, oh, it doesn't tell me how big it is. This is a five mil, so that's a pretty good size. And it's a spray, so I'm excited. Is it leaking? Oh, of course, that is my luck. We're gonna use that fast. Then we have a glow recipe. I really like this. I had a sample of this earlier and I loved it. This is the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Cream from Glow Recipe. I really like Glow Recipe and would have purchased a couple things from Glow Recipe if I didn't have so much skincare I'm trying to use up right at the moment, but yes. Then I have from Tower 28, I've heard good things about their mascara. Uh, what is this? This has a special name, I'm sure. This is Make Waves Mascara and Jet. So we'll see. I don't need any mascara right at the moment because I am currently using one um, that I've been pretty happy with, but yeah. Then this is one of the big value. This is from Rose Ink. It is a lip and cheek uh, color. I don't know why I was saying leap. Uh, so that's what it looks like. That's the shade. I'm not sure how I'm gonna love this because I don't use a lot of cream products. I'm not gonna touch it. And if I don't use it uh, this summer, I wanna try to use some other products, but if I don't use it this summer, I'll probably give it to someone or do a giveaway. And then this is, this is really why I got it. There is a give uh, by Gwen Stefani. 
This is Stomp Box. It's the Anaheim Shine. I wore this yesterday. I really like the color. It is really pretty, but I would not say this is a shine at all. It's satin. It's a little on the matte side of sand, satin. I still like it, but was I was expecting it to be a little bit more glossy with that shine name to it, but I, I, I really like her products. I have been happy with everything that I've tried from Give so much so far. I could be a little prejudiced though because she's like my favorite singer and I have been just a huge fan of hers for, for years and years and years and yeah. Next up is from Jo Malone. This is why I put in that, that second order. There was a new collection that came out, the Highlands collection. As soon as I saw them, I was like, oh, beautiful bottles, as you'll see in a second. Very distinct uh, fragrances. And I, I haven't smelled any of them because that's just where it is. But I have Scots. I'm I'm from Scottish descent, so that was part of the reason why I was instantly taken by these. I knew there was four of them. I saw a Facebook ad, didn't have them on Sephora, so didn't put them on my wish list or my loves list or in my cart because they weren't there. I found two of them. Well, they actually they had three of them on Macy's and I ended up ordering two of them. I had $20 in Macy's money and if I had waited a couple days, I think I would have been able to use my Macy's money and get the 15% off during the friend's sale. But I didn't realize it was coming up and I knew the dollars were expiring and I didn't want to lose that $20. So I ordered two of them. They haven't come yet. We'll talk about those when they do. But the one that I was most excited about, they didn't have anywhere. And so I was planning to order it from Jo Malone's site directly and then it popped up on Sephora and now I'm trying to debate if I should get the third, the fourth one. Uh, we'll see. This is Mallow on the Moor. The packaging on this, oh, just so pretty. And I don't remember what any of the notes on these are other than it had uh, Musk Mallow, I think, in it. This is really light. I think this would be a good unisex scent, actually. There's a tinge of sweetness, but it's more of like a green uh, kind of floral sweetness, but not like a floral, floral, if that makes sense. I think it's funny that these are coming out now in April because to me, this really feels like a fall scent or like an early spring scent. And I feel like even now it's getting a little too warm for these. I want something, I want like, you know, 40s or 30s type weather well maybe not 30s but like I feel like 40s low 50s is the ideal temperature to wear this it's I'm liking it more as it sits I am very excited to actually wear this so yes very happy uh, about that and was glad that I that it came out before the sale got over Although now it's on the Macy's uh, site, so I could have used I could have used their 15% off and used my star dollars on it as well. Quick break to show you the samples that I got. These were not all that I requested, but these are actually ones I will use. So these are uh, cleansing wipes. I got a coconut one and a charcoal one, which I'll definitely use. This will be good while traveling. I think I did request this. This is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. This is a great eyeshadow primer. I have used this several times and this will last me two, three weeks, maybe even a month, the amount that is in each one of those packets. It's, it's a lot of product. Then my pickup order, they stuck this in as a sample. This is the Amica Dream Routine Overnight Hydration Treatment. And this is a leave-in and it says you don't need to rinse it in the morning. So I'm excited about that. Like this will be a good thing. I, I love leave-in conditioners. I got from Living Proof, this is the Perfect Hair Day 501 Styling Treatment. It's fine. It's not my favorite. And then I got Leela Lou by Rosie Jane, Pear, Jasmine, and Fresh Cut Glass Grass. I don't think I have this one. I have Rosie. I need to look up that. I have two that I picked up from BoxyCharm years ago because they were on their major drop shop and or whatever their sale thing was at the time. And they're nice. They're not my favorites, but I do own two Rosie Janes. And I really want to smell Dolce, but again, so the one store that I went to has all of the Jo Malones. The other store doesn't carry Jo Malone. And they also had Yum Pistachio Gelato from Kaali, which I really wanted to smell, 
don't hate me, but it, when I sprayed it and I smelled it, it smelled like a combination of like, it actually smelled a lot like nail polish remover to me. Like one of the, not the original nail polish remover, but like one of the ones that they have, it's like a citrus nail polish remover. That's what it smelled like. It is so astringent. It burned my nose. I was like, what on earth even is this? And I smelled it like, and I, I let it develop a little bit. I just, I'm, I'm going to still get the little mini one because I have all of the other ones. So I want at least a mini of it, but it is not, I was not a fan whatsoever. No, no, thank you. Um, I don't know what it was, but oof, it just burned my nose. It wasn't pleasant to me at all. I know other people love it. And maybe if I put it on and I got past that sitting on my skin, which I don't know. Scent really is tied to my emotions. So I like things that make me feel happy, that make me feel, you know, enlightened, bright. Anything that irritates me um, will just manifest tenfold. So if I'm irritated, listening, like smelling something, it will just nag at me until like I, mm, until I can't handle it anymore. So, uh, yeah, not, not a fan. Don't know if I, I don't want to sit through it. You know, if I don't like it on initial spritz or if I get irritated, the longer I wear it, I don't want to wear that scent. Like I want something that makes me feel happy. That's why I have scent. Anyway, let's go on to the things that I picked up from my buy online pickup and store order. This is, uh, I have one more fragrance that I'll show you in a minute, but I did throw in a couple, I decided to get a couple of makeup items, even though I did pretty good other than that Sephora favorite set. I'm like looking, I'm like, I got a couple things there, but I wanted another one of the cloud crush blushes from Too Faced because I have the watermelon one and I wore that one yesterday and oh man, is it a bright pink and I need to work with it some more. I thought I went in light, but it just, it lasted. Let me tell you, my blush did not fade at all yesterday. It was, it was there all day, which could be a good thing, but that, that was a bright color. So I went, I was going to do something more fun with my eyes, but I went super neutral with my eyes. Cause I was like, my cheeks are like, Phew. yeah. And that's also why I wore the very kind of neutrally lipstick. Anyway, I picked up Golden Hour and this one looked so pretty. Now that I'm thinking about it though, I think it might kind of remind me of the famous NARS blush, that famous shade. I just, but I thought this one might be similar in shade to my Kylie blush that I just killed. And I really loved the color of that one. Don't like Kylie, but yeah, they are intense. That. That's very intense uh, blush. So be careful, tread carefully with them because they do have a lot of pigment. The other makeup item I picked up was a give by Gwen Stefani. I picked up one of these, I'm still here, lightweight, long wear matte liquid lipsticks. I haven't tried any of these. I got flannel. I, I'm thinking this might not have been the color that I saw in store that I was really interested in. This looks a little brown. Oh, I'm a little nervous now. Oh, that looks very brown. It did not look brown when I put it in my cart though. Shoot, I need to go back into the store and maybe exchange because not loving that color. Um, I, I, I think I screwed up and there was a more rosy toned one. I swear they said that was rosy toned and that just, I don't know. I'll try it on my lips. Maybe I'll wear it tomorrow. Yeah. Final thing I picked up is a perfume. I just got a travel size of the Clean Reserve Sparkling Sugar. I sprayed so many perfumes yesterday. I tried so many different ones. This one had not been out when I've gone to the store before because this is one that I've been interested in. And the one store, you know, I had gone in and asked them about on a date if they had a tester and they told me I could buy it if I didn't like it, return it then. And I was like, seriously? Um, no, thank you because at least if I order it online and I return it, I get the, you know, the offer and everything else. I wasn't about to, to buy a perfume. Um, that's why you go to Sephora, you go to test them. So I tested uh, this one, I tested the Fenty, I tested Yum, I tested uh, the Coconut, 
whatever the new seven virtues coconut was. I tested the new Juliet has a gun. What else did I test? Um, oh, I tested the line of Joe Malone's with the like the round ball caps. So Nashi Blossom or Nashi Blossom, I don't know. Uh, Osmanthus Blossom, Star Magnolia, did not like Star Magnolia. If you like florals, it is an in-your-face floral. And there's a couple that were okay. There was a lot that I was like, these are not for me. I don't know, Fenty may or may not. I was kind of like, I don't really, I don't really know about this one. But this one I really like. This is Sparkling Sugar to me. This is akin to Radiant Nectar. So if you like Radiant Nectar, I think you will like this one too. It has that similar vibe to it. I wanted to get the full bottle of this, but given everything else I got, I could not afford a full bottle of it right now, but I am close to a Rouge reward. So my plan is to redeem that Rouge reward for the full size bottle once I finish this travel size. We'll see how long it takes me. That That's kind of what I'm thinking at this moment. This also kind of reminds me in some ways, it doesn't have that artificial note to it but it reminds me of Ariana Grande's Thank You Next 2.0, which is one of my favorite fragrances. I just, I crave wearing that, and it, this smells very similar to me. It's like if you mixed Radiant Nectar and that one together, but got rid of that kind of artificial note that is prominent to me, you would have sparkling sugar. So this one I'm very excited about as well. Uh, I, did, I, I went way over budget. I put in two extra orders that I wasn't planning to do, and now I will be paying these off for uh, the next month and a half because I did after pay for my three regular orders. And then of course there's the Colts card that I have to pay on too. So anyway, that's what I got. Let me know what you picked up. Let me know if you've tried any of these, what your thoughts are on these. If you haven't tried Bond Perfumer, I really recommend it. Get the travel uh, set, watch it, watch my video on it as well. And yeah. I'm really happy with the perfumes I got. I'm really excited to be wearing them. They're all happy scents and that's what I really want. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I can't wait to talk to you next time.